Hello there, I plan to share a red related video in time for a certain re-recording release last month, but this colour theme is still very fitting for this time of year. Tis the damn season to incorporate red into your makeup while you celebrate the holidays or listen to Red Taylor's version at home. In less than three weeks, the entire album made it onto my Spotify wrapped, so I've had red on my mind quite a lot lately and wanted to pick out some creamy cherry blushes, sparkling cranberry shadows, sheer scarlet balms and bold ruby lipsticks. This video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace, wrapping up another great year of working with the website builder I used to make MatildaOnVideo.com, looking ahead to 2022 a bit later on. This time last year I shared videos on red lipstick and red lip glosses, but everything has changed and we're covering even more categories this time. Cream blushes are coming to the party, of course, with shades that will let you learn to love red cheeks. No clowns in sight. You know all too well, 10 minute version, Matilda's version, how much I love M Cosmetics Color Drops Serum Blushes. Cherry Splash perks up your cheeks with a stunning sheen that almost looks like a cream highlighter and blush. This radiant red is very sheer, very little risk of looking too flushed because the formula is light and silky, so it's hard to overdo it. Another excellent dewy blush pick is the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Formula, fresh from my video on that theme. Grateful is a true red, slightly stronger than M Cosmetics and a bit less fiddly with that big doe foot to dot straight onto your cheeks. This is also much more pigmented, so make sure you remove the excess first and one to two dots on each cheek will still be plenty. A lot of little Trini London pots pop up in my videos and I particularly enjoyed her lip to cheek line this year. Super creamy formula, easy to blend, great range of 10 shades, but rich poppy red Rossi is perfect at this time of year. Pat it onto your lips or use a lip brush to be more precise and it's creamy enough to sheer out across your cheeks for a pinch of colour some glowy, sparkly, starlight festive red eyeshadows. I swatched all of the M Cosmetics Cosmic Pearl dewy shadows when they launched in September and Scorpius was one of the standouts. These feel quite unique, close to a pressed powder glitter, but there's something a bit thicker about the texture, not strictly dewy, more metallic. This cranberry is so pretty as a sheer layer or amped up like this as a rich metallic red. Violette FR's Year Paint Liquid Shadow Shade Rose Dolor is technically a deep magenta, but from afar I like wearing it as a wide stripe of liquid liner because it looks like a shimmery red. Violette's matte liquid shadows are so pigmented and a bit tricky to work with, but the twinkling shades are more sheer and easy to smudge all over the lid too. The last time this 1999 Beauty Precision Colour Pencil appeared was in my Colourful Eyeliner video if you're looking for more red ideas. Voros is a striking, slightly blue-toned red in a beautifully creamy, multitasking formula for lips, eyes and cheeks. You can smudge and soften it or try the thinnest, tiniest line. Almost undetectable, but it still makes your eyes pop. Before we meet some lovely red lip options, I wanted to thank the Squarespace team for working with me again this year. I wear so many different hats as a full-time content creator running a business by myself, so it's so nice to use a website platform that keeps things simple. No complicated formatting, no coding, their tools are so straightforward. I've had my website as a hub for my content since early 2020, the time has flown, so it might be time for a fun redesign or new template next year, and I'd love to hear what sort of content you'd like to see over there. If you're starting a blog or website to start the new year, you can visit squarespace.com slash Matilda to save 10% on your first website or domain name purchase. I know some people find red lipstick a bit treacherous, so here are some softer, sheer, balmy options to ease into it. The Persona E-Balms were one of my best balm discoveries this year. Their soft caramel and deeper chocolate shades appeared in my autumn makeup and brown tinted balm edits, but Manifest is a cheery, cherry, warm red that belongs here. A rare tinted balm that actually feels like it's working, with vitamin E, shea butter and jojoba oil, and a sweet cocoa scent. Pat McGrath's Lip Fetish Balm in Wild Cherry is still one of my favourites from her range. I haven't tried the repackaged version with the round, flatter bullet, but this one is super comfortable with a firmer bullet, so I think of it as a sheer lipstick, and it's one of the best in that category. This is more of a pinky, raspberry or strawberry red to me though, rather than cherry. 
Ilya's famous tinted lip conditioner turned 10 this year, so they reimagined it and launched the Balmy Tints. They're meant to be even more buttery and buildable. Lady is the neutral cranberry I was drawn to, a bit more mature and muted if bright reds are a bit much for you. The original tinted lip conditioners aren't on Ilya's website anymore. Does that mean my favourite, very well-loved Arabian Nights, look at the state of it, the berry red worn by Emma Watson is gone? Come back, be here. Do you usually reach for a soft matte, lip crayon or liquid red lip? I knew this Givenchy lipstick was trouble when one of my followers, Sarah, said, imagine Bobby Brown's crushed lip colour but in a pair of black heels. Make it suede red heels and that's 37 Rouge Grenet. This stunning Le Rouge sheer velvet matte has an instant blurred soft focus finish, more velvety than Bobby Brown. Such a great recommendation, I've even ordered several more colours. NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencils are a classic, included here in Taylor's Honour. I've had so many messages about filming a celebrity makeup bag video on her recently, but I already have, linked below. Dragon Girl is rumoured to be one of her favourites, so the moment I knew the red re-recording was coming out, I started reaching for this a lot more often. Do I love liquid lipstick now? I almost do, thanks to Rouge Dior Forever Liquid. A very rare feeling for me, I can't stand dry or flaky, flat liquid lipsticks, but this one is a dream. Creamy and soft, a little tacky initially, but it dries down and feels so light, I forget I'm wearing it, and the colour just stay, stay, stays put. Doesn't get much more festive than Dior's famous 999 Red. It wouldn't be a red video on my channel without matching nails. We are never, ever, ever getting a salon mani because I love painting them at home. I have quite a few favourite reds, but Olive and June CV is the one I'm wearing here. I reach for it so often because it's so long wearing, warm enough to feel spicy in summer, but classic enough to feel festive in winter. What sort of reds will you be wearing this festive season? Let me know if you spotted any favourites here, and let me know your favourites from the red re-recording too. This is the end of my fourth year on YouTube, cannot believe it. I'm so grateful for this community, thank you for your company and support again this year. Your comments and DMs every day are so appreciated, I'm definitely the lucky one getting to call this my job and getting to know so many of you. My 2021 makeup favourites video is just around the corner, leave your guesses below, you know me too well, I'm sure you'll pick some of them. Then it'll be time to take a break and begin again in 2022. Thanks for watching. See you next time.